Hi, I'm Jo, and believe it or not, this is not the introduction that I had planned for this video. My intention was to film it on site, however, I just got too excited and completely forgot to film the introduction until I was halfway home. Now, that's not ideal for any video, particularly, however, for the first ever video on a brand new channel. And with that being said, in this video, Sky and I are exploring Inislas Beach in the Dovey National Nature Reserve. Inislas is part of the Dovey National Nature Reserve, located on the south side of the Dovey Estuary in Ceredigion on the west coast of Wales. So one of the cool things about Inislas is that you actually park right on the beach. So you will need to be aware of the tide times because on an incredibly high tide, then the car park will flood. So you can check tide times online, but there's also a handy notice board for you to check as well. And all you're gonna have to do is keep an eye on the times to make sure you move your car in time. Parking costs £3 a day and can be paid at the visitor centre a short walk from the car park. At peak times there may also be a parking attendant at the entrance to the site. Our day started out on the dune walk located behind the visitor centre. This is also where the public toilets and dog poop bins are located. of this YouTube channel for me is to basically get out there more with my camera and take more photos and videos to help develop my photography and sort of filmmaking skills. I would class myself as an average photographer um, and I sometimes take some really good photos I think. Um, so yes this is sort of part of a way to um, expand my skill range I would say. So one of the things that I really like about the Inislas beach is that it is a year round dog beach. Unlike most here in the UK, which are only open to dogs from I think the 1st of October to the end of April, you can take your dog down here any time of year, which is really nice. Now, one thing that you do need to note though is that it is a no swim beach because of the strong tidal currents. So not that she needs much encouragement to have a good time, but I have brought her a tennis ball and I've also got a big bag of treats as well for us to play with. And then hopefully we're gonna get some awesome pictures of Skylar just playing in the sand and on the beach. The light is coming from this end of the beach. So the plan is to have Skylar facing this way. So the light is gonna be in her face. That is the plan. Whether she thinks she's gonna do that or not is another thing. Okay, right. So, let's see how this is going to work. She's probably not going to come back to me. That is what usually happens when she has a ball. She wants to go and play on her own.
I hope you enjoyed the inner slash sand dunes and beach as much as Skylar and I did. So we are going to leave it here for this video. Now, if you're interested in coming to inner slash or would like to see some more photos or just a bit more information, then I have done a full blog post on our visit here today. And you can see that on my website, joherd.co.uk, and there shall be links in the description. So if you enjoyed the video, please do give it a thumbs up to let YouTube know. And also consider subscribing for more videos and we shall see you on our next adventure. Inislas. 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 Okay. <laughs>